what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out 12 funniest fan signs in wwe now as we uh, have seen you don't really see as many wrestling fan signs as we used to back in the day back in the day you damn near couldn't see the crowds on a weekly basis it was always fan signs and a lot of them uh you know <laughs> weren't i guess you could say when you look back at them uh in great taste but that was just the period of wrestling we were in where fans would say damn near whatever on the signs and sometimes or most of the times it would be uh seen on camera i'm sure they would confiscate the really wild ones back then um but a lot of the signs that were shown on camera back then would be confiscated definitely today so you don't really see as many of them mainly because one wrestling fans can be uh childish so you know you don't some, some wrestling fans may bring a sign that you know may some, say something wild and disrespectful or bring up a situation that wwe or aew whatever company doesn't want seen on the hard cam side or just seen in general so we're gonna check out some of the ones that were able to slip through uh uh, in these wrestling shows nowadays considering how things are you know are, 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 are very strict <laughs> when it comes to sponsors and what's being seen on tv appreciate all love and support let's get into this uh this video right here to bringing signs to shows began to take off in the attitude era during 1997 to 2001 thousands of signs were brought to the show each week i yep. mean just look at this sea of signs oh man he brings a tear to your eye doesn't it Ooh. Visuals aside, wow. this was a way that fans got across their opinions, a route for their favorite stars, and make often obscene and controversial comments. <laughs> Join us now as WrestleMania looks 20, 24 7. I love it. See, that's that probably would have got confiscated uh in today's time for sure. 12 of the funniest fan signs in WWE history. Oh, Be sure man. to subscribe and hit that notification bell for 40, daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive leads. Also, check out our new channel, that's WrestleMania funny. Shorts. <laughs> Number 12, Rest Hold at WrestleMania 30. In modern wrestling, fan signs aren't as common as they were during the 90s. Nope. It seems like it's borderline inappropriate to bring a sign to a show, but that doesn't hold back certain members of the WWE fan base as there have been some wow. incredibly creative signs over the past decade. Take, for instance, WrestleMania 30. A fan brought a rest hold sign and proceeded to hold it up every time, well, every time there was a rest hold. Rest hold. It was hilarious, <laughs> I never noticed that. And harmless. And wow. It was rather comedic that WWE showed the sign on camera a number of times Throughout wow, the I never noticed that. This is one of my favorite paper, uh, WrestleManias. <laughs> pay per view broadcast. Wrestle. The sign was similar to a comedic sign that was brought to the one night stand show in 2007. It was during the match between Randy Orton and Rob Van Dam. A fan held up a sign saying, Another headlock, Randy? It was a common joke at the time that Orton was overusing the headlock rest hold. Number 11. If Cena wins, we complain online. Oh, WrestleMania that's a good 29. one. That's a WrestleMania good one. WrestleMania 29 saw a lot of creative signs briefly <laughs> shown on TV. And one of them was a sign which read, If Cena wins, we complain online. This was a hilarious reference to how the internet fans <laughs> loathed John Cena in 2013. <laughs> and a lot of them way. took out their frustrations with WWE's booking via online rants and blog posts. Yeah, how times have changed. <laughs> At this specific WrestleMania, though, Cena were going to defeat the legendary People's Champion The Rock, officially ending their feud and giving the Cena haters one more thing to complain about. <laughs> Another humorous sign from this WrestleMania event was an image of Patrick from SpongeBob yep. SquarePants. This sign appeared throughout the night, and what was funny about this was that the image of Patrick was him pulling a shocked face, so it was hilarious seeing this sign pop up during different parts of WWE's <laughs> Megan. I like that. It's, it's a play on... Uh, if Cena wins, re riot type situation or whatnot, but it's it makes sense because nobody's rioting, <laughs> nobody's about to riot. So if Cena wins, we complain online because that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Good show number ten. You are the heel at No Way Out 2008. One of the biggest matches on the No Way Out 2008 card featured Randy Orton versus John Cena for the 12 billionth time. <laughs> this match would be for the WWE title and I knew that was coming. to help those out who were confused as to who was the heel and who was the babyface. When Orton was solely in the shot, the fan would hold up a sign saying, you're the heel, boo. However, when Cena was exclusively in the shot, he would hold up a sign which read, you are the face, yay. 
<laughs> Number nine, have you seen this person at Raw 2014? When CM Punk departed WWE in 2014, it hit fans hard, but mm-hmm. some fans decided to take a comedic approach to Punk leaving. One hilarious fan in April of 2014 decided to bring a Have You Seen This Person wow. sign to a show, and it hilariously featured a picture of Punk plastered on it. <laughs> WWE legend Mick Foley even shared an image of the sign on his social media pages as he found great humor in the situation. <laughs> this type of sign was genius. It was harmless, and fans would replicate the sign in later years, but this was the original and deserves a ton of credit for That's the creativity. Funny. Have you oh, seen this person? Eight, I sucked a monkey's nipple for these seats. Raw 2000. 2000 was a signature year for WWE. I just let you know, man. It was a different time back then. Boys were saying some wild stuff and putting it on signs. <laughs> they had truly found their groove when it came to the right mix wow. of entertainment and incredible in-ring work. The fans loved the WWE product during this calendar year. It appeared that the signs that fans were bringing to the shows were Look getting more that, and man. more creative. On the May 15th, 2000 edition of Raw, once Hardcore Holly had defeated Chris Jericho, a fan held up a sign that Jeez. read, I sucked a monkey's nipples for these seats. This was a clear reference to The Rock, who had mentioned monkey <laughs> nipples in the past, and it was a clear sign that WWE fan base were completely oh, man. enamored Take me by back. the WWE product at the time. Take Number me seven, back. Batista likes fish sticks, WrestleMania 26. A WrestleMania 26 collision between Cena and Batista received good reviews from fans, but shortly after the match had taken place, a sign that was in prominent view during the match became the main talking point. One fan had brought a sign which read, Batista <laughs> likes fish sticks. This was a South Park <laughs> yeah. reference, but it was insanely clever to think outside of the box in this way. It's likely that WWE's production team didn't understand the context yeah, of the they sign, didn't and get it. that's why they were happy to show it multiple times on screen. Number six, face. Yeah, they didn't. They obviously probably didn't understand the reference, but other fans <laughs> who know about the reference was like, wow. <laughs> F me Finn, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. The inaugural NXT TakeOver Brooklyn event received critical acclaim from fans. Mm-hmm. Matches such as Bailey versus Sasha Ooh, Banks and Finn classic. Balor versus Kevin Owens were all tremendous. Classics. And some say that this event set the benchmark for what WWE needed to be. Nevertheless, following the show, a certain image went viral. And this viral image was of a fan who was holding a vastly inappropriate sign. The sign in question read, Face F me Finn. And fans Whoa. upon seeing this sign immediately thought they were back in the Attitude Era. Yeah. Thankfully for WWE, this wasn't shown on camera, but the fan who brought in the sign decided to bring the infamous sign to a number of future WWE events. Wow. Number five, my <laughs> new ball looks like Brock. Raw 2015. I feel Brock for you, bro. has been a huge merch mover for WWE That's since sad. his return in 2012. <laughs> and fans are prone to showing their support for Lesnar with hilarious signs. This was a case in 2015 when a fan had a sign which read, <laughs> My newborn looks like Brock. Eat, sleep, poop, repeat. Really? This was incredibly funny to see, and the fan deserves a ton of credit for thinking outside the box when it came to their specific sign. Number four, my wife Ashley. A number of signs certainly died down during the Ruthless Aggression era, but this didn't stop loyal WWE fans mm-hmm. bringing hilarious signs to big shows. The trial of Eric Bischoff was one of the standout episodes of Raw in 2005. <laughs> the it was a hot show to attend, so naturally, there were way more signs present than was typical for the time. One sign that was in view for the entire night was a sign which read, My wife Ashley loves it raw. It was definitely a sign that belonged in the Attitude Era. <laughs> That's a good one, too. My wife, Ashley, loves it raw. <laughs> I love it. But it was hilarious to see on live TV. That's, nonetheless. that's funny. Number three, Cena, turn heel, you douche. Raw 2014. <laughs> it eventually became an ongoing joke in WWE that John Cena never turned heel. Nope. There was a clear push to see that from fans, but WWE was scared of fully pulling the trigger on a villainous turn. On mm-hmm. the December 15th, 2014 edition of Raw, Cena was having a promo segment with Seth Rollins when an amusing sign appeared in the shot. The sign read, Cena, turn heel, you douche. The sign only appeared for a few brief seconds, so it's possible that the sign was confiscated by WWE security yeah. team. Number two, the Tribal Queef, Royal Rumble 2020. Now, this one was funny, bro. I believe, I think they did, uh, I think security took this one away too, but this one was funny. I think we uh, watched this on live stream and you guys pointed it out and we pointed it out. It was hilarious. Three. 
As Roman Reigns made his way to the ring at the 2023 this Royal was Rumble, a good one, bro. fans instantly noticed something comedic. This Next was to Reigns and Paul Heyman was a sign which read Tribal Queef. This was obviously a pun on Roman Reigns' tribal chief nickname. Oh my God. It social media on fire because it was so downright hilarious. In the original version of the pay-per-view event, the sign could clearly be seen. However, in the version that now exists on the WWE Network and Blu-ray copies of the pay-per-view, it's extremely hard to see the sign as WWE have edited certain and Damn. shots so the sign is virtually non-existent Damn, which is a shame bro. and number one dean titty master ambrose raw 2014 <laughs> during ambrose's run as u.s champion ambrose would have the words tit master written on his wrist tape at house shows this turned into a meme and in 2014 a fan brought a sign to raw which read dean titty master ambrose what made this <laughs> sign so funny was the fact that the fan held it near ambrose as the shield made their entrance and wwe managed to capture the sign in full view <laughs> it was truly hilarious but there you have it folks 12 of the wow that's that's dope man see i look i'm i am one of those people that i would love to see more wrestling signs but obviously, you know, they got to, you know, <laughs> they would have to beef up security when it comes to, you know, I'm sure people will try to smuggle in some signs and stuff like that. But they would have to beef up security to make sure there's nothing inappropriate. Because once again, we live in a day and age where people don't care. People love to make jokes out of anything. And, you, you know, I think there was someone, it was something recent. I want to say within this past year, there was like a Chris Benoit sign on the hard cam side. I remember that. And I think we had seen it maybe live or whatever. But, you know, people like that bringing those type of signs, you know, obviously they're going to be on the hard cam side. It's going to, you know, create some type of buzz and, you know, you know, WWE or, you know, probably AEW too, depending how extreme it is. They don't want the, the investors to see certain stuff, you know, and they don't want certain stuff being shown on their television program. So I would like to see more wrestling signs for sure. It just depends on how uh, WWE would beef up their security because they would have to because someone's going to bring something really inappropriate especially trying to get seen and notarized on television so um yeah man i would i would definitely like to see some more signs being back it just you know they would have to beef up security and make sure you know no one's saying some wild stuff so y'all comment down below let me know what's the funniest wrestling sign you've ever seen it doesn't have to be in wwe it can be in aew or wherever the funniest wrestling sign you have ever actually seen on television or if you brought some wrestling signs to a wrestling event let me know down below and also just one more question do y'all think wwe and AEW should allow more people to bring wrestling signs to these shows or do you think they should keep it where it is right now um because of you know how people you know, tend to be childish y'all let me know but i appreciate all love and support road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace